What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about seven different cryptos today in order. I'm going to go over it in the order that we're going to go over. I'm going to list it off, okay? We're going to talk about uh, request. Request here, R-E-Q. STG is next, one, O-N-E, and Floki, all at the request of Miss Teresa. We'll be moving on after that to Adam, which is also actually at the request of Teresa. And then finishing it up with CRV for Hoshi and S Fund and Soil for Chad Shi. These are all cryptos. We're going to go over seven of them. And we're going to do it right now. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Looking at request here, um, you know, it's a new chart. Not a whole lot to go off of. I would say, right, you, you definitely sold off during the uh, bear market, continued to kind of sold, sell off, but really you're in this like accumulation phase, I would say. It's not a conventional accumulation phase because you have been moving lower. But to me, nonetheless, you can see like where this just kind of looks different than this initial sell off here to me. It's been a very long uh, drawn out phase for sure. But I do think you could go lower from here. You might not. You have a nice little bounce off your 50 on the RSI here, which is nice. You can see I'm not going to draw a line, but you can see where you've found resistance, turbulence in this area before and even support um, on this this area here. So this could be significant. Though again, you did find support here. It didn't amount to much, and then you, you still inevitably went lower um, for months, for, for like almost a year, really. Um, from the all-time high to the all-time low, finding resistance at the 236, finding support on the 069. That's nice, man. You got some good things going for you. Um, it might go up higher. I don't actually know if it goes lower than this, if it goes lower than 7.5 cents. I don't know if it does. Um, I like the way the weekly looks. Let's look at the daily and just see if we can get, you know, the daily, the daily's not as good looking, but it's not bad either. Like actually what you have is some pretty nice bullish divergence, which might or might not have already been fulfilled. You went below the green line, classic area to buy really. Just like when you were in your downtrend, like any time that you're above the green line was a good time to sell. Um, I, I think that you are in the beginnings of your uptrend. It might be a good time to buy down here, but you absolutely could go lower and still um, be fine, more or less. Yeah, that's a nice bounce, man. I got to say that is a nice bounce. You might be going up higher. You might be going up higher, but just because you're going up higher doesn't mean you're ready to break out of this yet. You could get above 12.5 cents, but I'm sure you'll be held down by that 18.6 uh, cent area for quite some time. Um, maybe after the halving. You know, it might be later in this year that you break that, but for now, I think you are moving up. Um, I don't think you go below this low. And if you do, don't be scared. You, you very likely won't go below this low. But I, this structure, for what it's worth, it's a very new chart. But for what it's, what it's worth, I kind of like the structure. Um, that's REQ, STG, Stargate 1. Can I do it on this one? Yes, I can. You know, I've, I've heard things about this. I've heard some uh, bigger accounts talking about this. I might, talk, I, might, I might pull it up on this here. STG. Was this the right one too? Yeah. All the way back in September. Okay, well, you know, actually we could use this. This is okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll use, we'll use trading view. Higher lows, higher highs, not really doing much. You're kind of like range bound throughout your whole existence, but yeah, doesn't look bad. Doesn't look too, too bad. Let's look at this real quick. Still moving down, you know, you topped off. I, don't, I, I mean, it's a higher low to be fair. I don't know, man. There are a lot of cryptos that <clears throat> that did great things throughout this time here and you were just kind of stagnant. So I don't really like that personally, but technically you are in a downtrend right now. You could, that would prompt you to go lower than this, but maybe you don't, maybe you form a higher low as you have been. Maybe form a double bottom, maybe even do go a little bit lower. But but this weekly RSI isn't really giving us too much. The price action itself isn't. The daily RSI does look a little bit sad. Yes, this is a low here, and that's a higher low. And yes, that is a lower low here. So that would be some form of bullish divergence. But to me, it doesn't look like bullish divergence. Really what it looks like is you're in a downtrend in your RSI. I would kind of expect that you come up to about 58 cents or so and then you probably move lower. I think that you will go below 50 cents again, below 48 cents even. Um, let's just see. Come on now. You might find support down here at about 30 or 44 cents. 
maybe even about 47 cents, somewhere around there. You could go a little bit lower. I doubt you take that low out though, but I do believe you take these lows out. If not, maybe I'm wrong. You could just move up higher. This RSI isn't really giving me too much to go off of. As far as the fibs go, they look a little bit constructive to the downside. So I, that, that's why I'm predominantly leaning to the downside there. Yeah. Yeah, hidden bearish divergence. I think you do want to move lower. That's just, that's my opinion on that. So that's STG. Let's talk about one now. Um, Harmony. That's right. That's what this one is. Harmony. The one. The only. Let me look at this thing real quick. Yeah, we'll use Binance again. Triple uh, rejection off the overbought zone, not necessarily a good look. Still forming lower lows while a lot of things are being bullish. Yes, you were bullish here, but I mean, lower highs, lower lows, I'm not a big fan. It does it does kind of look like, you know, you dropped off and you've been like like petering out, moving, moving sideways, accumulating here. It doesn't look too, too bad, but you do have lower highs and lower lows. And so with that, my assumption would be that you do go below that low just automatically off of that. But because of the overall climate of the market, I don't, because of the climate of the market, that actually is possible. But we are in the bull run. Depends on what happens. You're at about 1.47 cents now. I, don't, I mean, you don't have to go below that low, but I, I kind of would expect it genuinely. Let me see this real quick. I don't know, man. To me, it doesn't look too friendly. <sighs> the daily looks a little bit better, I gotta say. A little bit. I do think you go lower. Maybe you hold about one cent as a, as, as a low. You probably hold about one cent. Um, you're at 1.47 cents now, so that's a little bit of a drop from here, but you probably hold that one cent area. I do think you get below the white zone here and you go you go to there. Genuine opinion. I can be wrong. You could move up from here, but you look like you're in a pronounced downtrend, a little like a, a channel downwards. You're at the top of that channel, so I would think that you move down like more or less immediately, and you're probably not going to move down to the 786 immediately, but stay in this channel until you get there. You might see a final like sell off that's like a quicker move to the downside and it could take you below this but I doubt you go below that low there for what it's worth yeah and then as far as like what it does for the rest of the cycle I don't know I don't know too much about this project it's been around since 2019 so it is older than most cryptos but it's there's there's definitely a lot of cryptos that are older than this um, it still has some proving to do really you've only been around for one bull cycle one bear cycle and you do have higher lows, I will say. You, you, you kind of came out in the midst of the last bear cycle, actually. Right? That was COVID times and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. Will you see new all-time highs? That's a really, really good question to, sit, to ask. But I don't know if you will. But anyways, probably down more or less immediately from here. Probably around a cent. And then we can talk about you going up. I do think you break out of this range to the upside. But how much higher do you go? That's that's a real question. We'll determine that at a later date probably. Floki Inu. I actually have a friend who... I don't know if he still... I don't know if, if he still holds it. Leaf, if you're watching, man. Uh, leave me a comment if you, if you still hold your Flokies, man. I know he bought this thing um, during the last cycle. And man, it went down and it went up and then it went down, and, you know, just classic, classic stuff. But um, I would assume he didn't let it go, but we'll see. Maybe we won't see. Maybe I won't know. I'll just ask him next time I see him. Um, Floki. Nope, that wasn't the right one. 28K, 45K. Probably. Low cap Dogecoin, right? It doesn't look bad, to be fair. Higher lows, established kind of uptrend that you've had since really June of 2022. It's not bad. Um, top to bottom here. I I don't I don't mind it. it doesn't look bad. Probably goes down for the more or less immediate term. I want to I want to bring this back out now. Yeah, the daily looks like uh, sad. Looks like it wants to go down a little bit. 
right? Lower highs, lower lows. Probably does. You might see this thing all the way down at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, somewhere around there. That would make sense to me, man. That 2-3 level also has this kind of 0.5 of the grand fib itself. So you might you might actually hold that 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 3 area. If not, I, I don't think that you'll break that low. I don't. I think that you'll hold this and you're getting ready to move up higher, but for the time being, probably down. And it probably goes down for the next month or two or something like that, but that's Floki. So moving on from there, we're talking about Atom Atom. Adam, Adam, Adam. Uh, let's see. We'll use Coinbase. Low to high. Rejecting your 382. You know, I like Adam, man. I do. I like Cosmos. Um, I actually invested in this thing. I'm pretty sure, didn't it exist before 2019? Maybe it was 2019 that I invested in this thing. I think it was actually. It was before, yeah, because it was before the bull market kicked off, I remember. Um, and it wasn't doing much. And then it like moved up, but there were some other coins that I had my, my eyes on that were doing better, so I sold it. But it went up a lot higher, that's for sure. Um, Looking at it now, I would think it goes a little bit lower. I would think that you might see your 618, which is all the man, that's that's a big drop for something like this. I don't know. Just based on the fibs, that's that's the look I'm getting. That rejection off the 382 is not friendly, man. And you have kind of a flat base here with the sending highs. That's not a good look, really. Um, hard to say. If you can get above about $11, I'll change my mind. But until then, I think you're moving down to 450 or lower. Probably a little bit lower than 450. Big old drop coming in for uh, for Adam. Yep. That's my thoughts on it, man. I wonder if this lines up with anything. Look at that. 1272-1414 right in the middle of that range there, man. I don't know. I don't like it. I think it wants to go down more. It's kind of surprising. I wouldn't have expected that with this thing, but yeah, I think it goes lower. A lot lower. 50%, which that's pretty standard for a lot of cryptos right now. That's actually pretty standard. CRV. Oh, I'm not a big fan of this chart, really. I mean, if we took out took that part away, it wouldn't be too, too bad, but it still wouldn't be that good. But not a whole lot going on in the weekly. It would make me think you do have lower to go. I don't like the descending highs with the flat base. I don't like that. Uh, it's not encouraging at all. You probably, you might form new all-time lows, man. I mean, you're still going down, like in this time, like Bitcoin bottomed in December of 2022, right? That's, I'm fairly positive. I've looked at it so many times, but I'm fairly positive. Um, November, my bad, November. It bottomed in November. Like Bitcoin chart, most cryptos, most like of the prominent ones, they have not been forming lower lows since December of 2022, right? And not saying that that condemns this, but I'm just saying it doesn't excite me personally that you've been forming new lows since September of 2023. I'm, I'm in, inclined to believe that you'll actually go below this low. I am. It's a weak daily looking RSI. You might go up a little bit, a little bit from the current price. You're at about 48 cents. You just see low to high here. No. Nope. Yeah, maybe go up to 50 cents literally and then reject it from there. You might see prices all the way down at 32 cents. This one's a little bit harder. Genuinely, I don't know. 
32 cents, that 1272 is right at all time lows. So you might not see new all time lows, but you might have a double bottom off of your all time lows. So, um, yeah, if not, maybe 26 cents, but I think 32 cents or lower is where you're going, honestly. Yep, yep, yep. How will this, how will this perform in the bull cycle? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, maybe it does well, maybe it doesn't, you know. There's no guarantees, but for now, I think it does want to go lower. So that's CRV. S fund. Oh. Yeah, we'll do that. Doesn't look bad, actually. Like a bull flag, really. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all, huh? Wow. You might turn around right here. You might turn around right here, and that wouldn't be too crazy because you are at previous areas of support, turning into resistance. You might go down. But this RSI is in a good spot, man. Like if it, if it could move, if you could move up just a little bit more, you'll break out of this downtrend, bouncing off the oversold zone like that. Like that would actually look really good. If not, you're probably, and what I would expect more so is, is that you're probably going to come back down, which would lead to lower prices, sure. But, I mean, look at that run up you had. Yeah, I think you're moving to about $2, probably just below $2, and then we could talk about you moving up. I do. I think you're moving lower. If not, surprise me. I'm wrong. That's okay. Um, the, the really only way to like prove me wrong is like over the next week, you need to have another green week, close, close green. You need to break this downtrend in your RSI because you're at the base of it now, like the top of it now. So I should say the summit, not the base. Um, so I would actually more or less expect a rejection literally right off of where you are now. But maybe you don't. Get back above these lows here consistently, not just for a day, not even just for two, for like three days or more and continue to move up higher. And then the last nail in the coffin would be to get a higher high, right? So if you can do that, if you can do all, uh, all like two or three of those things, then I will be convinced that no longer will you move to $2. Um, but for now, I'm convinced that you move actually just a little bit below $2 for, for S fund. But I do like it. I do like it. It actually looks like a, a pretty decent chart um, for continuation. This is definitely a, a, a nice move up for sure. Broke out. Nice way to finish with some, some decent volume, relatively speaking. Not compared to this, but it's on KuCoin. Who knows, man? That volume could have gone all to Bybit. Yeah, look, it all, it's all on Bybit there. So probably. Let's see, actually. 7.5 million. Maybe not, actually. Damn. It could have moved to other places, though, too. Mexi. Yeah, Mexi, Bybit. Probably not Gate.io. I don't know. It would have been nice for more volume, but I guess it's not necessary. 14 million here, 4 million there, plus 7 million on Bybit, 7 million on Mexi. You know, that's, that is technically more volume than here. Um, but anyways, anyways, I digress. Um, I think it is going a little bit lower. Prove me wrong. Keep going. But that's that's really all you can do is just keep going. It's kind of hard to say, but not too hard. I actually do think it's going lower. Soil on Mex C. We're about to soil ourselves. All right, so let's see here. Moving up, moving up nice. Bouncing right off your 382, huh? Got above your 236, but not for long. You look like you're reversing it here. Yeah, you're probably going lower also. I bet you go down to like 24 cents, 20 cents, something like that. At the best case scenario, 31.7 cents. Rejecting off of this 50 doesn't look too good with that candle. Yeah, I think you go lower. You probably see that 61869. Because when you go below here, there's nothing really stopping you until, until the 618. So that's it, man. That's really it. Um, you know, I don't really know if there's a winner out of all of these. They all kind of look like they want to go down. Floki and uh, S Fund, those are like the ones that kind of interested me a little bit as far as like like potential for gains um, over the coming months. You know, I do think that everything probably goes down for the next month or two, but um, those look at like relatively better areas to buy around, but, but who knows. Um, so it's a toss up between. Floki and S Fund. So Chad, she, Teresa, you, you guys are tied. 
Um, as far as the loser goes, I forget which one it was. There was one that didn't interest me at all. I forget which one it was. I'm, I'm sorry. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.